Hi everyone, this is Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you beam layout plan of single room soft drawing in AutoCAD. So don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss any updates. So let's get started. So this is the floor plan. This is the front elevation. This is the sectional elevation. This is section and XY. This is the section and AB. And this is the column layout plan. So I have already created this in my previous video. So now I will create beam layout plan of this single room soft drawing. So this is the flow plan. Now here I will create the beam layout plan. Now first of all go to layer and turn off all layers except wall and column layer. Ok. So go to layer first. LA enter. LA is the circuit key of layer command. Now select all and turn off. All layers. Select all and turn off all layers. Okay. Now only turn on wall and column. We need only wall and column. Here we need baranda. So turn on baranda layer also. Okay. Now I'll copy this. Select copy. If you want to move this, you can also move this. Now turn on all layers. Select all, turn on. Okay. So, we need this much wall, column, and baranda. Now, delete the dimension. Okay. Now, before I start, I want to say some basic thing. Beam which is attached to roof slab is known as roof beam. Now, beams that are connecting columns for transferring loads of a structure directly to the columns are known as primary beams. Now the, the, now the beams that are connecting primary beam for transferring loads of a structure to the primary beams are known as secondary beams. Okay. So secondary beam is not resting on column. Alright. Okay. So now I will use line command. Okay. These are the walls. Now I will use line command to join all the columns. First we need to join all the columns. Okay. So, this is the beam layer which I have already created. You need to create a beam layer first. Okay. So, your color is blue. This blue color. Line type dashed. Line width is 0.30 millimeter. Line type is dashed. Okay. So, first of all, you need to create a beam layer. Okay. Now, create a new layer as beam number ok create a new layer beam number change the color to white line type continuous and line width default ok alright now make beam layer as current layer ok so now join all columns center to center point okay so l enter i'll use line command now join center to sorry here to here okay this point to this point okay this is okay now width or thickness of beam is 10 inch so give offset. Okay. Width is 10 inch. So give offset. Give offset distance 10 inch. Select this line. Click. Okay. okay. Now. See. This is 10 inch. Okay. So width or thickness of beam is 10 inch. Okay. This is the section elevation. See. Here, we can see here, this is the width, okay, 10 inch width, okay, width is 10 inch and depth is 6 inch here, okay, this is width 10 inch and depth is 6 inch, okay, this is the depth, we can see on the section here, this is the section, section elevation, okay, this is depth, 
6 inch and width is 10 inch. Okay. Depth is 6 inch, width is 10 inch. Okay. Now go back to beam layout plan. Now this is here to here. This is 10 inch width. Beam width is 10 inch. Okay. Now join this side column to column here to here. Okay. Join this side. Now again give offset. Give offset distance 10 inch. Select the beam and click on this side. Okay. Now again join this. This column to this column. Okay. Now give offset of 10 inch. Again. Join this column to this column. First point, your second point, give offset. The offset distance 10 inch. 10 inches width of beam. Okay. So, these are the beams. Okay. Now, here as there is no column, is provided over here. So, we need to provide cantilever beam here. Okay. So, cantilever beam, we need to provide here. So cantilever beam is the beam which is fixed at one end and unsupported or free means hanging on air at the other end. Okay. So we need to provide a cantilever beam here. So we need to draw a line here. Check line command. Same procedure. I'll enter. Now press by first point here, second point here. Now again. First point and second point. Okay, now give offset. Give offset distance 10 inch. 10 inches width or thickness of beam. Width or thickness of beam. Okay, depth is 6 inch. Okay, so this is we have created this beam. See, this is 10 inch. Okay, this is also 10 inch width. Okay. This is also 10 inch width. Depth we can't see here. Okay. So. Now make beam number as current layer. Okay. Now. We have, we have to specify the beam number now. So, dt enter, height is 10 inch, okay, now, so, so the beam, beam number, b1, 10 inch depth and 6 inch width, okay, b1, this is b1, 10 inch, 10 inches width, sorry, 10 inches width and 6 inches depth. Okay, now go to section elevation. See, this is 10 inch width. Width or thickness is 10 inch. This is 10 inch width and depth is 6 inch. Okay, 6 inch depth. Alright. See, here also this is width is 10 inch and depth is 6 inch. Okay. So, here, this is, this is 10 inch width and depth is 6 inch. This is beam 1. Okay. So, this beam and this beam, these two beams are same. So, this is B1. This is also B1. So, I will copy the text. Copy to this side. If you want to create a new text, you can create. Okay. Now I specify this side beam. Okay. So copy again. Now I'll rotate this. Rotate the text. Move this to this side. And I'll specify this as B2. This is beam 2. Beam number 2. And width is 10 inch and depth is 6 inch. Same. And this, these two beams are same beams. 
So I'll copy this to here. These two bins are same. Okay. This is B B1. Okay. This is B1. And this is B2. These two bins are B B1. These two bins are B B2. And this is I'll specify cantilever beam 3. Okay, I'll copy the text. This is cantilever beam. So, cantilever beam I'll specify CB. Okay. CB. Cantilever beam 3. Okay. Beam number 3. And this is cantilever beam. So, I've specified the name as CB3. Okay. So, this side beam is also same. So, I'll copy this. Okay, I'll write the text like this. This is completely up to you. Okay, so this is CB3 cantilever beam 3, 10 inch width, a thickness, and 6 inch depth. Okay, so this is these two beams are cantilever beams CB3 10 inch width, 6 inch depth. Okay, so this is beam 1, this is beam 1, this is beam 2, this is beam 2, 10 inch width, 6 inch depth, this is cantilever beam 3, beam 3 and this is, these two beams are cantilever beams. Okay, now this is varanda, okay, turn off, all layers, varanda wall, okay, now I'll move this. Okay, now turn on, select all, turn on, all layers, now delete this, so this is the beam layout plan, these are the columns, we have four columns here, okay, this is cantilever beam 3, this is also cantilever, cantilever beam 3, this is beam 1, 10 inch width, 6 inch depth. Okay. This is beam 2. 10 inch width, 6 inch depth. This is also beam 2. This is cantilever beam. These two beams are cantilever beam. Okay. Here we can't see the depth. As this is beam layout plan. This is the plan. So we can't see the depth here. Okay. So. This is the beam layout plan. Okay. So this is the beam layout plan. So if you like this video. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.